Okay, let's give you guys another random integration problem. So somehow integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, if I were to give you, um, if I were to ask you to differentiate this, uh, cos to the power of 37, if you differentiate it, it would give you this, and then you could have times with the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be this. So when, when you differentiate this, it will give you this. Now looking back at this, you're, you're trying to integrate this. So imagine this has been one block multiplying with another block. Now if, if, if I would, if, if I were to ask you to integrate this, it would be, if I were to ask you to integrate this, it would be easy. Um, you, because, because you know that this differentiates to this, you, to integrate it, you know it's quite easy. You just need to make this adjustment. So if, if, because this thing here is the exact derivative of this thing here, um, then, then you, you should be able to easily integrate it. So looking back, looking back at this here, looking back at this, if you can obtain a, a sine theta, uh, if you can obtain a block of minus sine theta, uh, let, let's just say theta for the time being, then, uh, then, then this will be the exact derivative of this block. So it should be easy to integrate. So, uh, so looking, so when you're trying to integrate this, uh, get one of these signs from, from here. So that, uh, so, so, so that this sign here will be the exact derivative of this thing here. So basically rewrite this, rewrite this as this. So, so you're, so looking at this here, if you can obtain a sign, then, uh, then this sign here, this sign here will be the exact derivative of this thing here. So, so, uh, so here you've got to the power of three. So, so here to the power of one, uh, to the power of two, to the power of one. So basically, um, get one of the signs from here and then put it over here. So rewrite this as, uh, as, as this. So you've got one block multiplying with this block, multiplying with this block here. Notice that this is exact, almost the exact derivative of this. So, so later it should be easy to integrate this. Um, so, so now you, you still need a, a minus in, in this thing here because the, the, because look at this, you need a minus here. So this block here, you need a minus. So from here, rewrite this block as, uh, as this, as minus sign, but then you've got a minus here. So in effect, these two will cancel out. So from here, that will then take you to here. So notice that this block here is now, this block here is now the exact derivative of this. So, so when you are here, hang on, uh, because, because this, because this is the exact derivative of this block, um, if, if, if you were to do this, if you were to say let, uh, u equals cos theta, then, uh, then du equals minus sine theta d theta, uh, so, so d theta equals du over minus sine theta. Now, just, Ignore this for the time being. If if this here should be easy to integrate, if you put if you put this into here, and then and then and then later this this minus sign here will cancel out with this. The point I'm trying to make here is that imagine this wasn't here. This thing here, because because this because this is the exact derivative of this, it should be easy to integrate. But the, the thing is, you've still got this annoying sign lingering around because if you were to make this substitution cos theta, um, but but you can't make the the substitution here because this is a sign. If um, you, because it's cos here, you're trying to make the substitution cos. This is a sign. Um, the rest the rest is okay. The rest is good. It's just this thing here is annoying. So uh, so replace this with. Um, with this one minus cos uh, cos square theta. So now you can put the u into here, uh, and then so so this would be u squared. This would be u to the power of five. You see, because everything now is everything now is in terms of cos. Then you can make the substitution up here. You couldn't because uh, because you still have the the annoying sign lingering around. Um, this here, yeah. So so from here. From here we can start making our substitution now. So let's um, let u be cos theta. If u equals cos theta, then du equals this thing. Uh, divide both sides by minus sine. So so um, d theta 
equals this thing here. So now we can put this into here. That will give us u squared. Um, put uh, put this into here. That will give us uh, to the power of five. And then leave this for the time being. Leave it as 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 it is because it's going to get killed off with this one here. Now um, d theta equals this thing here. So we can put this into the d theta. That will then give us this. So now this will cancel out with this. So now it's just a matter of integrating this. So um, so let's uh, let's bung this into here so it becomes this. So so basically switch these two around. Okay. So so now it's just a matter of integrating this. Integrate it. It will then give you this. And then earlier we said let's u equals um, equals cos of x. So your final answer will be this. Okay.